mommy. This is the cold water visitor center of Mount St. Helens. I'm gonna head on in, have a look, see. These are the old remains of the uh, eruption. The wood left over. You see pieces of it everywhere. A big old chunk of it right there too. Here's inside the center. It's got the theater over there, so I'm gonna watch the video. It's a 23 minute video. I'll watch that one too. Anyway, look at the view out here. I definitely recommend coming up here. Oh wow. And there's the cold water lake. Oh, it's beauty. Wow, that's a view. And there she is. as far as I can zoom out so that tells you about as close as I am and there's a hummock where I hiked at it's even over closer down there it's the parking lot and I hiked way over that way basically all up around that came back and I got some video right over here off the road And there's a little quarter mile trail, which I'm going to end up taking over there as well. We're going to have a look see. So, different uh, view, point of view. Wow, that looks so cool. another vantage point and you can see the river a little better too and that thing is roaring too we were close there we heard it actually when we were over there on, on hummock trail yeah now that all the heathens are gone you can actually get out here and enjoy it a little bit <laughs> There's the trail I'm going to hit. I'll loop around the winds of change, I guess. Trail. Anyway, I'll pick up on some more vistas here and there. It ain't that long, so I forgot I got on in this video. It heck. Ain't got nothing but time. If y'all ain't here, got time to waste. Here you go. Get a little vistas and look at that tree sticking out still. Dang it, there we go. <laughs> Wow. Left over. They were like toothpicks. So look at all these stumps. This remnants got blown off. They were like toothpick matchsticks. Oh wow, look at that. Oh man, I was I am so thankful to be on a day like today and yesterday and hopefully tomorrow. Man, take what Mother Nature gives you, man. Oh, look at the uh, gnarly looking bark or uh, stumps there, too. That is so cool. <laughs> nice. Anyway, moving on. But you see all this regrowing. Forty, four years later. 
Oh, yeah, we're going to see some other stumps. We'll see some other spots here and there. See what this little cool thing right here says. Stone wind. Wow. Like they're saying, that's what that is right there. All polarized. All of that there. Wow. Yeah. Man, don't hold any kind of power to Mother Nature. She all bend our will. We bend to hers. I need to know their place. This what makes life worth living, people. Here's the old trunk still standing. That's all that's left. Everything else got blown off. Oh, look, you can see from the blast radius. There's where it blew. And you can see how it knocked everything off with just the, uh, the couple of branches. Well, this is way up, too. This is... Just was sticking out from what's buried. Wow. And it's so cool. This shows you right here all those tree stumps that are left. From being pulverized. There's the top over there. We'll be able to get another vista right around this little hill. Coming around this way real quick. Let's see what this is. Get down, cover up, survive. Yep. How the mammals survived the asteroid that killed the dinosaurs. We uh, bided our time underground. At least that's the prevailing theory, anyway. believe it's time to make science factual again make science trustworthy again make journalism trustworthy again we need more journalists and less propagandists and activists hacktivists when i call them propagandists is what they really are oh look at that but uh you know we need the truth Man, that is beautiful. Look at this, all the way over here. And then look at the valley here, the river. Wow. That just cuts its way through. That is something else. Not our, our nary a cloud in the sky. Oh man, look at this. And look at this, just this hill, just how everything's growing back. You got green everywhere, but that ain't how it was. So you look on the other side, it was partially protected, and how that's grown back a lot faster. <laughs> you see what got hit and what didn't. The stuff that had water and snow. It was more protected. It's able to be like an insulation for the heat. But everything, look at it. all this is brand new to the north. Look at all that scorched. If we got over that way, you'll see it. Whereas all this over here was somewhat protected. That's what we hiked through. It was all that. That's what I hiked through, I should say. So cool, man. Just 
with the wind, birds, and the river. No cars, no people. pop squat take five I'll let I'm gonna get a drink of water let y'all see if I can put that right for everybody just kind of enjoy for a minute there we go that'll work y'all enjoy that while I get a drink of water hit my vape That's some high quality H2O. Speaking of which, keep yourself hydrated, people. I can go without water. I'm a trained professional in that aspect. I train myself. But uh, I know when I need to drink water. You know, it's knowing your limitations. Something else. Oh, grab my choke man. I timed myself in that deep deep deep. Cows finishes. Let's drill this rocky turd. Oh, yeah, there's the lake. Clearwater Lake. I guess that's Tuttle River. T O U T L E, I think. I'm sure I'm butchering it. I don't really give a shit. I am Travel Hog, the butcher of names. I just don't care. Man, that's something else. See the wildfires growing as well. Wow. And then up here is where I was at, the visitor center. Then we'll head on to the next stop. I'm just backtracking now. I basically came on, went on to go on to get my hike while it was cool, and I'm glad I did. It's steadily warming up. Still nice, but man, you get up here in this elevation, we're 3,000 feet up, give or take. And uh, get back over here while I'm here anyway. And, uh, you know, the sun, the UV beats down on you. I got a cap on, but my neck, my arms, you know, getting hammered as well. Got one more view here, panorama. There's the visitor center, Clearwater Visitor Center, Clearwater Lake, Mount St. Helens, northeast corner, northwest, northwest corner. I'm assuming that's the Tauto, Total River, whatever you call it, I don't know. And there's the valley. All this is new growth, as you can see. You can see what is scorched 
basically bare. Look at it, they got burnt off on top. Everything on top, if you look, got just burnt off, just completely obliterated. All that you can see there got just totally washed away too. So that stuff was able to come back faster or was protected more. So yeah. Living history, people. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed. Later.